Hello, everybody. Got it. Press the button. Welcome to episode 120 from Wool is the Answer. I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. <sighs> what Wool is the I'm just going to move my thing. There we go. Lord. Right, my head's a bit flat today. I've been lazy. Right. Channel. Press the button. We're here. We're on. Hello, everybody. We are live. We it's are. Thursday night to keep you on your toes. I know. The 5th, the 5th of May. The 5th of May. Oh. No longer the 4th of May. I always like the 4th of May day. Star Wars day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Lisa. Oh, dear. I've got no makeup on. I'm like, just being sat outside in the sun this afternoon and then it, Torrential rain, it was awful, wasn't it? Um, what time? We had like a little shower for about three minutes at five o'clock. Um, no, just before then, it was really heavy rain. Uh, I didn't get out of work till just before five. Which was quite amusing because David said, I'm just going to go and do some work, sat outside with his laptop, and then he got stuck underneath the um, gazebo and couldn't come back. Oh, dear. Well, we dev we can't have had that because I've just been out to check the water box, thinking, oh, it's filled it up. It's not touched it. So we've not had much. Again, we're in different climates, aren't we? Because we live so I far know. away from each other. Yeah, it's given rain every day this week, thinking, oh, it's going to fill my water butt up. Not touched it, I'm afraid. So it was really hot this afternoon. After knitting that I got sat outside. I was burning. It was so warm. I've been sat in a Boom, freezing cold with a long sleeve jumper on all day. So that it was just my legs out, and my legs out. It was that warm. Goodness me. Right. Let's get on. So we are here on Thursday because, of course, we're at Buxton tomorrow. So this time tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have the stall all done. Well, we definitely will have because we'll have been allowed in. And we'll have chucked out by we'll now. Out. Yeah. Whatever's not done, we'll have to be done Saturday morning. But we're, we've It'll got be done. To... It'll be done. We'll be right. Um, so, yes, that's why we're on on Thursday. But like Dominic says, we just like to keep mixing it up, don't we? Yes. I mean, we, we never know when it is sometimes. We can forget. Um, so I brought, I brought a, a selection of um, new shawl colours that we've got. Um to show you, because we'll have, I mean, I dread to think how many shawls we're going to have hung up and jumpers and things. There's absolutely loads of knitted things. So come and see all the knitted stuff. I mean, we may end up wearing like jumpers and scarves and hats and things. There'll be that much. Yeah. Although looking at the temperature, I'll be in a short sleeve dress, I think, because it looks as though it's going to be warm in the glass house. Well, I think if you come on a Saturday and come on a Sunday, you might see different things. Yes. That might be the way of doing it. You'll just get to see different things on different days. Who knows? Because surprise you. Wherever we can hang something, we will be hanging it. That'll yeah. be for sure. So, um, what do you want to see first? Do you want to see some knitting or do you want to see some shawlage? See some shawls. Right. Because I've written new shawls already in my book. Well, People probably don't know, some people do. We do also have crochet patterns. I know we talk a lot about knitting, don't we? But yes. We do have crochet patterns. We've got five different crochet patterns now. Um, and a lot of them are done by um, Wendy of yes. Crochet Creations. But the one I'm going to show you now um, was from our first crochet pattern and it was done by um, Handmade by Cumbie. Yes. Uh, right at the beginning. And we've had this done in a new colourway and I absolutely love it. So this and is one. one. It's a double knit as well. It's Most double of knit one, yes. Yeah. So this it's one's double knit. It's double knit and it's knit, it's knit, it's crocheted in Frosty the Snowman. Yes. And forget me not. I mean, I love it. It's really nice. So this is a new colourway and we'll have the colour. I'm a bit low down today. Um, look at that. So we've and got... They do look, I really do, I've always liked them colours together yeah. anyway. They look lovely together, so um, we'll have all the wool for that. Yes. So it looks completely different because the other one is in a, a um, purple rain, isn't it, and peacock. Yes. One's no, really, really, one's dark, they're both dark. That's yeah, both much... very dark. So it does look completely different, doesn't it? Um, 
in, in those colours. And it's a good way of showing colours together as well. And, uh, yeah. you know, you put them together, but you can just see how well they look together. Yeah. And, you know, just because we've done it in those colours doesn't mean it has to be done in those colours. You know, you sell the wool for all different things. That's the fun sometimes, isn't it? Getting the colours together for different people. Yes. So I'll show you one other. It, that yeah. shawl is called Call Me Rosie. Call Me Rosie. Thank you for that. I forgot to say that, didn't I? You did. So I wrote it down. Call the me next Rosie. one I'm going to show you is a knitted pattern, um, and it's called Yarnia. And the reason it's called Yarnia is because mm, two years ago, would it be? Three years ago. It was, it was three, three years, years ago. It was, it was our Christmas shawl that we did. 2019. Yeah. Oh, that's the ancient. And because we've not done shows, we were always going to release the pattern. We never released the pattern, did we? Because we said, oh, we're going to do it at a show. So we never released the pattern. Um, so the original one was knit in um, Winter's Night um, with Petrol, Midnight and Silver. Yeah. Um, and we have got that kit and we have got that shawl. You know, we've got all the wool for that. But so it's Forget Me Not. Forget Me yeah, Not. Forget Me Not. Yeah. So this is a different version of it. I mean, it looks amazing. So yeah. I've got this kit as well, because it's made with 50 grams. Um, so this is Yarnia in the um, brighter version, it, which is really quite summery. Um, so that is in neon lights. Is it turquoise or electric blue? Turquoise. I was, I'm typing the details in the um, chat. And it, the hot. Electric blue. Electric blue and the yeah. hot pink, that I keep calling it, um, and um, undyed. But it looks really nice. But look at all the lace work on it. It is beautiful. The lace work is very, the shawl in itself isn't, the lace work is very similar to Lace Bee, yes. which is a beautiful shawl. Yeah. Um, you knit the shawl top down and yeah. then you turn it on its side to do the lacing, lace on its edge. So it starts here and then as Dominique says, you do two there and then you pick the stitches up and go a lot away. Um, but it's it's a really nice, drapey, light, airy shawl. And there's it, not it's a nice shape because there's not too much here. You know, if you don't like, if you like me and don't like too much. Yeah, I don't like it because it's not my shape. I really don't like wearing them. But yeah. it's... it's yeah. So it's my shape. I like this shape. Yeah. Um, so that's yeah. so that we've got two different options on that shawl in kits. So it's the first year we've done kits, um, and we've done just a few of each just to see how they go. Um, mainly concentrating on the ones that are like the fifty grams, aren't they? So because we, we we couldn't dye every colour in fifty grams, so we just decided to do them as kits. And we also find that people like putting their own colours together. Some yeah. people. So I like that. Can yeah. I have it like that? And, and you thing. can, because we've got the mini board, haven't we? We've got our gazillion minis. So you yeah. can still knit that in a different colour. Um, you just make it up with minis. Or like um, Lace Bee, do it in just a solid colour as well would look beautiful. Yeah, because yeah. we've, so. got, we've got two options of that, haven't we? Yeah, you could do that one easily in one colour and it would look... Or two colours, just two, two 100 grams of wool. I mean, yeah. you know... The possibilities, the possibilities are, are endless. Yes. Would you like to see some knitting now? Yes. Let's see some knitting. Would you like to see a finished object? Oh, yes, please. Oh, it's finished, is it? It's finished. It died. I'm blocked and ready to go. I really love it. I absolutely love it. It, it looks... It looks really, I was, I was going to say spring. It looks Easter. It's the colours. It looks Let me really put the line down. Hang on a minute. Easter springy. Um, just need to put that blind down because it's driving me. Hang on, go in. Wrong blind, Marie. Stop. Stop. Machine, stop. That works anyway. It'll do. Um, but, I mean, honestly, it was hilarious. So I finished it and I did the bottom because you can see the bottom. Oh, yes. So it's, it's a, and I kitcheneed it. You have to kitchen it together. Right. The light is really rubbish here. Let me see if I can just get the other so blind. You, you knit that in half and then you put them together. 
Yes. So, um, hang on. Stand by. Stand by. Three. Number three, I want. I think the battery's going in the blinds. I mean, ah, here we go. That's better. I'll be sat in darkness in a minute. Right. Yeah. I'm going to be completely sat in darkness because it's just not working. Right, I'll put the lights on. So now you can see the bottom. So you knit it in the round. With, so the, knit... with the diamond scallops. So after you've sewn all these together and knit them all together, because you pick stitches up and knit the next one, and pick stitches up and knit the next one. So you then had to pick up all the stitches and then do the bottom in the round. Oh, so the bottom's done in the round, got you. Well, I knit the bottom in the round and kept going, and then it said, just kitchen it together, you know. But what I'd done, what I hadn't realised I'd done, I'd actually got it. So I was knitting it in the round, that away, that away, with the handles like that. Right. So when I came to put my kitchen stitch in, I thought, perfect, I finished it. But that's what the bag looked like. Incorrect, because obviously you have to put the handles that way with your arms I, open. So I had to undo the kitchen stitch. And then to it right. So you've stopped halfway round. I'd, I'd split, split it in half, but I'd put it in the wrong way. I'd gone uh, the wrong angle. Yeah. So I'd sewn it all together, blocked it, and I thought, why doesn't it? And I hung it, and everything was fine, because when I blocked it, I'd blocked it the other way, you see. So I'd blocked it like the, the other way, so it laid flat. But and I, I thought, why do those ends not look right? But when I went to hang it up with the ha with the handles, I thought, well, that's why you lemon because it's you've it's connected. the wrong way round. Yes. So I then and I'd sewn it in because it was kitchen stitch, so I'd sewn that bit in. So I then had to. I couldn't undo the kitchen stitch, so I then had to pick up stitches and I had to stick it. I had to cut it. And then turn it round so that you turn were then... it the right way around. Literally, yeah. just turn the stitches round and then do the kitchen a stitch on a hundred stitches again. So, yeah, I did think. Do I just leave it? Will anybody notice? But it was just so ridiculous. Yeah, it it's right. like first time I did socks. I did the toes. I'd done the heels and I did the toes at ninety degrees. And you do, you can tell, can't you? Yeah. So, and it, yeah. It was my own fault. I'd got because I'd been when I'd been joining it all together. I'd got it laid flat, and I'd got it laid so it looked right. But I hadn't thought of like the handles when you had to put it over your shoulder. I'd put it the wrong way. So if anybody's doing it, just make sure that you read the pattern. Because when you looked at the schematics of the pattern, and I looked and straight away thought, well, I know exactly what I've done. Yeah. But anyway, the air was blue, and um, but the worst thing is that. The only way to do it, I'd woken up early one morning. I thought, right, I'm just going to stay in bed and I'm going to watch rubbish on the telly and sit. So at about six in the morning, I was there. Well, you know what it's like when you're cutting stitches? The, the bed was just absolutely cut. Cool. So, I mean, it just went from then. I ended up having to change the whole bed in because there was just, like, tiny bits of wool everywhere. It's all over the carpet. <sighs> so a little job turned into a nightmare. But are you pleased with it? I love it. Do you know what? I really, really like it. So it's coming to um, Buxton with me. That's what my knitting's coming in with all my bottles and, you know, the water bottle and everything. So it's come out so much better and the, um, and the straps have come out really nice as well. You couldn't see from the distance, you couldn't see the detail on them. They're, no. they're really nice. It's really nice, but it was all I-cord. Everything was I-cord yeah. bind off. So you imagine all these straps are all done in one bit. Yeah. So but it's, bit, it needs to be for the strength, doesn't it? About 380 stitches yeah. there, but I can't bind off. Yeah. But I love it. I really do. It's it, it's so squidgy. Do you know what I mean? It's really yeah. Nice bag. So I'm really chuffed to bits with it. And um, that scrap buster satchel. Yes. And as I said, I just used um, four ply, held double. And it's quite, it, it has stretched quite a bit. It has stretched a lot. I did pull it quite a lot when I... Well, the, was the pattern four-ply held double or was it DK? No, it was worsted. Oh, that's right, yes. Yeah, so it was worsted on size five needles and I did yeah. it on um, four-ply held double um, and 
on size four needles but I've literally used loads of wool in it so I used I haven't used all of the we are five minis I had a little bit left and then I used Chandler then the the, the handles are um what was our last bakery uh, our last box um operation operation I used all of operation for the handles my 50 gram and then a little bit of this and then I just used up I just kept using up bits of stash I had yeah so it's really it was a really good stash buster actually um so Sue all of the shawls that are in kits the new ones that we've done that'll be in kits will all be on the website next week later on in the week they'll all be on the website um so if you want them in any particular those particular colors it will all be on the website from then and the yarny pattern we just can't put it on now because we're taking all the stock to Buxton. Yes. So we just need time to get back restock and then everything can go on yeah. there. And I've also put on the on the website as well, if any orders are placed now, they're probably not going to go out till the end of next week anyway, because Dominic's back at work straight after Buxton. I've got something on. So it is going to be the end of the week before any orders are posted out. But it will be, I will get them put on the website. They're all ready to go. Unless we've got the stock we bring back yeah. on Buxton, then it'll go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll go out, but... You know, if your orders are a little bit later than normal, that's why. Yeah. Because we do try and get them out straight away, don't we? Yeah. So. And depending, I might have a chance to do it next week. Yeah, it just depends on what it is. We just didn't want to put ourselves under too much pressure and say, oh, yes, it'll definitely be ready. So, yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, so that's those two. Have you got knitting to show us? I have. I've got a finished object. Da, 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 da. Ooh. That's it. That's my third Excuse mindless me. knits, mindless sweater. Cute. But Haley, I don't know if you'll be watching this because you're prepping for Buxton, but I think I would like, please, some more woodland in DK so I can knit myself a jumper. It is beautiful, I've got to say. I really like that. I just I keep no, saying it. I'm not it's going a bit funny, do you? Oh. What's Come it on, you're doing? all right. You're all right. It just keeps breaking up a bit. Who knows? It's it's got full signal. I'm in the same place as I normally am. Um, yeah, I've said since the minute I bought it, I think I want to jump in it, and now I've seen that. Yeah. I just think that would be. That would make a perfect adult jumper. It would. It's lovely. So it's really nice. with the Starcraft Bellissima, I really like it anyway. Yeah. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Are you being called? No. It just Microsoft saying something about new password or something. <laughs> um, I really, really like the stitches. They're like a, a nice twist. Yeah. They're just very nice. To I do love that colour though, that um, that multi yard, really yeah. pretty. We'll hold it up close again because you see the colour pop more. Yeah, really pretty colours there. It is just woodland, isn't it? It's just it, it's just quite autumnal, but not. I don't know, not overtly. I don't know. I just really like it. So that is, I have used every last bit of that hundred grams. So I've made. Three mitts with it because the first one was too small, Three and, and that jumper. Um, so I've used every last bit, um, and then that was just something in my stash. So yes, mm -hmm. hey, can you watch this? If I've not already seen you at Buxton, I think I'd just like maybe two hundred grams of woodland DK, please, because. I I want to I want an adult version. The big version of that. Yes. So that's all three of them done. I'm going to move on to something else and find somewhere to donate them. But they are cute. They, they are, are really cute and fairly quick knit when you've not got much time, but you want something to show for it. So absolutely, they look really good. I really really like them. Thank you, Lee. It would, wouldn't it? It would be the perfect yeah. jumper. And like that, I'm just going to do the top, not all over, the top bit, 
and then probably that same yeah, cup. Really nice. Yeah, good idea. Imagine, but bigger. And it's DK, so it's going to knit up quicker than most. So, um, yes, once once Hayley gets some more DK in, that's what's happening. Would you like to see another shawl? Yes, Let's... everybody says from their little homes, we can all hear you shouting at us. Yes, Marie, show us some more shawls. This is a different version of... I've, I, I had a bit of a brain freeze, so I won't tell you. Um, it's... Lulu's Sunday shawl. It's slightly different. Look, this I love this. It's still got pom poms. It's not got as many pom poms, and the reason behind that is because I didn't have enough time to make loads of pom poms. So this is done in a different colourway. So it's done in summer garden, olive, magenta, and denim. And uh, the original was done in Lulu's drops, which is really pale. Really pale. In like pale forest, navy, scarlet drop, yeah, yeah. and then colours as your minis. Yeah. So really... So it's just a different take on it. So again, yeah. this one will be available as a little grabbing kit, grab and go kit. Yeah. Um, but it just looks so different. And, and it's really interesting because I know I'm a tight knitter and um, we've had two of my shorts knit um, that I'm going to show you. And... Uh, my tension and the other people's tension is completely different and it just goes to show how much bigger the shawls are. They're yeah. still beautiful and they still look as nice and it's used the same amount of wool, which is bizarre. But um, it's, yeah, it is really interesting. I think it'll be nice to show on the stall as well. Then you're not, you know, people get a good idea, don't they, um, of what they look like. Just but, different tensions, yeah. It is, um, there's some yeah. big differences in some of them, but yeah. that, I think that one, it looks completely different. Totally different, yeah. Um, but I, I renamed the shawl on the, yeah. on the, on the outer thing. I, I lost the plot. It's got a different name just for this show, you know, just to keep you on your toes again. Just if people go, it's not that. Yeah, it is. It's just I yeah. had a brain, what's it? Yeah. But I'm going to show you one more at the minute and then move on. So the second one is drops in the ocean. And this is a pattern that we normally say when people come along, what's a really easy pattern to get, get going with. And this is normally the one we say, or Lulu's or, you know, we've got a couple of patterns, but um, so this has been knit. the original drops in the ocean, isn't it? In coral reef and denim. And then this one has been knit in thunder and silver. But oh, oh my God. God, it is nearly twice the size of mine. So it just goes to show how tight a knitter I am. I love it. It is because you don't really see the drops in yours, do you? No. But you absolutely do in here. Yeah, you see there. So it's, yeah. So it's. A, I mean, it's huge. I mean, mine literally is like half this size, isn't it? It's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. And it's the same amount of wool. But I love, I love the colours in this. I really, really like them yeah. colours. It's just really a completely like different take on it, isn't it? But again, it's a really simple pattern. Um, yeah, it is. It's really nice, that one. But that is just two 100 grams. These are Lulu's and that, both four ply shawls. Yeah. Uh, but like we say, that you could do it. You could do every section a different, yeah. a different colour. It could be stash busting. Yeah. yeah. Just use up what you've got. But it do, I'm, I'm really pleased with how that's come, come out. Um, so I've got another two to show you, but I'll save them for a little bit, a little bit later. Have you got anything else to show us? No, I've got a thank you. Ooh. I've got a big thank you. So the one I showed last week that I'd won that confused me because I one, I didn't know it was through the post, and two, I didn't know I was expecting it. So thank you to Caroline and Marion, who both they found it before I'd had a chance to go and find it to say what episode it was, and that yes, this was definitely what I'd wool. At what I'd won so thank you ladies um it was on my list to do I'd not got round to it when you'd messaged me but um thank you for taking the time to find it so it was exactly it was from winning from Ali I just thought she'd shown it and so it was a thank you that one oh good good stuff right well I can show you a bit of an update on my um t-shirt so this is knit, as we said last week, the peony, which is good, which is, um, we'll have it, 
Buxton. So Buxton's really sort of its main release for it. So I've now split for the sleeves, you can see. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. You'd, so, that's what you wanted to get to. I did. I wanted to get it done so that I can take it to Buxton. And then if I can get a bit of knitting in, I can just do it. Yeah. So it's in the peony. Um, pale Forest and Pale Scarlet on Sparkle. Um, it's it's so it. summery. It's it is, really, isn't it? Yeah. I'm really happy with it. So I think with the Pale Forest in it, as well as the Scarlet, that really, I don't know, it's probably because it's green still. I'm pleased I put, I'm pleased I put it in. Because um, like you say, I would have had enough yarn to have just done it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Really summery and, and light. But it's such a nice fabric because you're doing it on slightly bigger needles. It's really drapey. So I think it's going to be lovely when it's finished. The pattern itself, you, was, you were supposed to, you know, I've got the eyelets on the um, raglan sleeve. You're supposed to put them down here. That's not going to happen. I'm just, right. going, to, I'm just going to knit all the way around. And why would I want anybody to see them bibbly, box, bibbly bits down there of me body? No. No, thank you. You know, just a straightforward edge. That'll be nice. So that's the Rock It Tea. Rock it tea. Arts. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but it is, it's really nice. And now I've got to there, it literally is. The only thing I have to think about is, um, you know, how many rows I've done for each. For each stripe? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you've just got to cast, you've just got to pick up the stitches. And I think it's a eye cord bind off on the, on the neck. Right. Um, and then the same on the sleeves. But I'm going to do the sleeves a bit longer. Because I don't but like them. beauty, because you can pick them up and knit yeah. them. Like, yeah. You could turn it into a full length sleeve if you wanted to. Yeah. Could. yeah. So, um, and I don't think it has any ribbon on the bottom. So I'll see what it looks like when I've done it. I might put a bit of little edging on. I don't know. If right. Because it's supposed to just be loose. Yes. So. Yeah. Is, does it meant, is it meant to curl then? Like the... Does the hem curl? I think so, yeah. It's difficult because when I've looked at the pictures, they're all like, they look, the front's like all tucked in in jeans on, on, and then everybody else's picture doesn't really show it. So I think it is. It's just got, I think it's just a very relaxed T-shirt. Right. Um, so. <sighs> well, while you've, just, while you've just shown yours, I mean, I've really not added much to this as well, but it is the same colourway, but just, in a pair of socks so i've not got nice i mean the sun's coming in now there that's better so they are i'm going to take these just so i can if we get the opportunity but i'm not sure we will i've got something yeah, to do just to knit round and round and round um but, but it was it was funny today on on knit and natter so i had made him a t-shirt Sally was making socks exactly the same as you, and Sue had finished her finished her um, scrabble. Pitch. Yeah, so she'd done hers. So we, there were all three of us sat there with using the peony stroke scrabble. I mean, this was started about six or seven weeks ago, and I've just not had chance to do it. But I'm just untwisting. Well, mine's gone from being a shawl to a t-shirt. That's very. You know, I've not even had the opportunity. There we go. I've not even had the opportunity to think about operation, but let's concentrate on these. These have been neglected for a while, and then, then we can think about operation. Well, my operation's done. Mine's in yeah. the bag. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's in there. So. Because um, it'll soon be. We'll soon be ready for Dallas. Oh, I know. I think we've certainly hit on the theme because I was listening to Radio 2 when they were talking about we're doing a dynasty special, aren't they? They did it. It was it was Monday. Was it on? I heard it being advertised. So Scott uh, Miller did it on, on Monday because I thought, oh, we we not that we didn't matter, but we've gone for the wrong one because they were doing it was 40 years of dynasty. Oh um, dear. So yes. So um yeah, so the um sock set. It's 350s, isn't it? The Yarn yes. Club 350s. That's still on the website, the Dallas. Yes. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. Oh, afternoon teas. There's still some spaces on the afternoon teas for the June. Um, Which is Thursday the 30th. Yeah, of June. 
and we've also got spaces as well on the July retreat and it's the only one that we've got spaces for um, because the November one is fully booked and so is next March. Next March is fully booked as well. So if you are interested in coming on a retreat, we've only got spaces in July. Um, but we are quite confident as well, aren't we, that we'll probably sell some spaces when we've got a bit of um, merchandising. 58, 58 days. 58 days. Yes. So we're, we're taking some of the leaflets and things, aren't we, for the um, to Buxton. Um, but, yeah, so if you do want to come on one of our retreats, that's the only option you're really going to have at the minute. Because um, I said... December's booked and so is March 2023. That's all fully yeah. booked as well. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay. And at 58 days, it's going to be here in a flash. Oh, and you know, let's hope the weather's going to be nice. Oh, it will be. It will. <laughs> It'll be perfect. Right. Have you got any more shawls? Because I've only got one other bit of yes. knitting. I've got two shawls and they're both on yak. So I'll show you these. So we've had a different version done of Surely Not Chevron, because Surely oh. Not Chevron is knit originally in um, the both on yak in magenta and um, truly scrumptious. But this one, oh my Lord, I love these colours. This is emerald and coral reef. On yak. On so yak. That's why it looks different, but yeah. Look how beautiful those colours go together. <gasps> I love it, I really, I, I like the original version of I like, it. Yeah, but, but this I, is just yeah. rich. It looks rich. And again, different tension. This is a lot longer than um, the original one we had knit up, didn't we? Because Katie's a tight knitter like, yes. like I am. But it's absolutely beautiful and drapey. Yeah, um, I challenged blocking that one because it was so long. But yeah. It's the, I mean, it all blocks nicely, but the yak blocks really nicely. Yeah. But Dominic blocked it and then I gave it a good press as well. So they've all had a good extra, extra bit of, you know, teasing. But the colours in it are absolutely there. That's, that's stunning. That, yeah. Really nice. So we have got the yak with us. And then the other one is, and this was a this pattern was designed by um, what Katie knits along with the next one, which is tessellation. And the original tessellation is in orange, petrol, and olive on yak. And this one, we've done. It looks like Wimbledon colours, really. We've gone for yeah. purple, apple, and the undyed. I really like it in them colours. It looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. So. That is just a big triangular shawl. If you get, if you get it closely, because you can't see the texture. There, there, there. Yes. Yeah. So, again, this uses um, 100 grams of the undyed and then 50 grams of the purple and 50 of the green. So that's why we've done that in the kit as well, um, because we don't normally sell the yak in 50 grams. Um, apart from in the... In a, in a shawl set but it's yeah it looks really nice that it's so soft as well isn't it the yeah and that is a really big triangle yeah again it's not a shape i could i i can't wear properly no but you like that shape yeah, don't you I, do. I i really do like a triangle like that so yeah. um yeah. yes but yeah mar you look mar Go on. see and feel and squish and yeah Wear and do what you like. We're never precious. I know some no. people don't touch, don't no, look. You can touch all the shawls. Just ask us. Don't run off with them because we will come after you. You know, we will yeah. come after you. Um, touch, try them on. Take we've got them. a mirror. We've got a mirror. You can have a look at them. Yeah, we'll let you try them on and all sorts, you know. If you've got yarn you want to come and you want something to go with it, don't be furtive. Get it out. Let's have a look. If you're trying to match colours... We yeah. really don't mind that you've actually bought a ball of wool from somewhere else and you're trying to match colour. We really do not mind, seriously. Because, you know, if you've paid money for wool and you want it to match another colour, but we do, we see people like, they've got the bag, haven't they? They've got the bag and they've like got a purchase in and they're like going like this, trying to not... For heaven's sake. I know some people can be funny, but... We're not. What, what is the point? No. 
So and I've managed this time all of the shawls and all of the knitwear because obviously Iris is coming with us, who's Knitterish Designs, and she's got quite a lot of um, jumper patterns, um, some cardigan patterns, some sort of tunic length dresses, um, and she'll have all those with her as well. Um, so again, everything will have a label on. It'll tell you what the pattern is. Um, it'll tell you whether it's our patterns or whether we've just, it's a, a Ravelry one, because obviously we've got, we're taking a few of our Stephen West things. So it'll give you all the information on there um, and the patterns. And, and the majority, the patterns that are ours or Iris's, we will have um, copies of them. Yes. So they're all there to buy. So there should be a lot of patterns, a lot of knitwear and a lot of coat hangers. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to be having them suspended from wherever we, ever we are. And if we're too hot, we will not be wearing them all. I know that for something. No, we won't. We definitely won't. Marion, did you see, um, Marion's just joined us. I loved your beautiful little foxy fox that you, you did in a, little, in a little dress. The mole that she's working her way through now. Oh my Lord. I got an email through of them. She's done some in the little outfits. They're so cute. Little moly, little cotton rabbits. They are so gorgeous. Marion, you need to knit a mole. Now you've finished your fox, you need to knit. That was beautiful, wasn't it? Is that in icicles? Yeah. And purple. I mean, how cute, Marion. That is icicles, so cute. Icicles were sparkle as well. So yeah. it's just beautiful. But the moles, honestly. It's the purple shoes that set it off, I think. It's fab. They are beautiful. So, um, yeah, she, I don't think the pattern's released yet, but she's working on it. And if you subscribe to her site and obviously get the emails, I got the email, and she'd shown some photos of them all made up in little dresses and things. Oh, they are so cute. They are so cute. Um, but, yeah, I know what you mean, Marion. You, you lose the will to live after a little bit of stuff in those animals. Um, it is. I mean, I would never do it, but it is worth it. The, the final product is absolutely yeah. worth it. Her patterns are stunning and all the attention to detail, you know, how she changes a pattern and she gives you a pattern and it'll have all the information on it. And then you can get all the clothes that all of the animals can wear. They are, yeah, yeah they are yeah. so cute. Um, Would the shoes, um, are the shoes part of a feet or will they be removable? I'm trying to think on Scoobies, I can't remember. Marion, are them, can you change your shoes or...? I would have thought so, I bet you can. I bet you can change the shoes. Can you zoom in, zoom in. Um, but like when I knit Scooby, there was just so many different options you can do for the dogs, it was just hilarious. It was so funny. Oh, yes it was. Oh, I'm pleased your friend loved it. So Marion, did the shoes come off or did they, were they knit as the feet? Mm. Can you not tell? I think... I know Scooby didn't have shoes on. I don't know. But I think I could have put shoes on him, but I can't remember. Um, but yeah. they are really cute, and Lucy does a lot of the kits for those. You can buy the whole kit, doesn't she, for the little rabbit and or whatever animal it is. She's there at Buxton. Yeah, she's there at Buxton. They're part of the feet. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I thought that on the picture, but I thought I better not say in case it's just yeah. superb knitting and you can't see the join. Well, you can't see the, the loose because they're Only not. Only the dress changes. So she always has to have sparkly purple shoes. She has some beautiful purple shoes with whatever ensemble air she's got. Perfect. Absolutely. Who wouldn't love a pair of purple shoes? Oh, dear me. Um, well, I've got nothing else to show you. I, I've only got, I mean, I've got one thing and that's it. Oh. Are you just trying to tip me on the edge? I spy with my little eye. I spy with my little eye. Something so spinning with. Finished my little <gasps> jumper and. Oh, I thought you were going to say, I've finished the jumper. No, I've finished the little jumper this week and I've put. I've had to put a progress keeper there. So I've added like a finger's length. Um, that's nearly 50 grams. Wow. So I've put a progress 
marker just so I can see how much I've done in a week because you feel like you're not it's not grown at all but it has actually grown how Probably. far are you off finishing the length oh miles off <laughs> but if I've added three inches I could get my tape measure but I'm guessing it's three inches in a week when I've not done that much knitting then I could be done by Christmas. <laughs> uh, but I was knitting last night like a lunatic thinking I must be nearly at the end of this ball. And I am, but there's still quite a bit in there. So <sighs> it's fine, it's fine, but I can't just keep knitting on this and not showing anything else because that, that's boring. So this might, I might finish this. And then before that, I did put two more balls into the sleeve. So I've put 150 grams in it yeah. in the last month. Yeah. Then it go to one side for me to cast something on with some of my new purchases, maybe, and then come back to it in a month's yeah. time. Because yeah. I can't wear it in the summer. No. The goal for this to be finished is the November retreat. I'll give you that. Yeah. Because that is when I would wear it. So, I mean, actually, we're two inches above my belly button. Is that sat down or stood up? That's sat down. So I mean, that's been a lot more away from the belly button when you stand up. I hate to break that to you. Oh, <laughs> I've probably got another, I don't know. I will not even think about it. Don't think it's about it. it. Just, it's one of those when you sat watching something on the television that you don't have to think about and look at a pattern, you can just pick it up and just do a few bits. That's exactly, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I will finish, get to the end of that ball. So I've got no balls attached and then it might get put down for a little while. And then we'll come back and we'll do two more balls on the sleeves and then we'll go back to the body. So this is the last you're going to see of it for a long time because it's just going to get put to one side. Sue has just said that apparently, going back to the little fox, um, Little Cotton Rabbit now does a separate shoe pattern. Oh! And it's called, get this, removable shoes i mean if it doesn't say what it does on the tin i mean removable shoes scooby might get a little pair of tap dancing shoes then i mean that way you can you don't have to worry about matching your outfit to your shoes but no. very good perfect i mean if only we could knit our own little removable shoes like that i mean it would be perfect wouldn't it we'd be we a bit skiddy we can and we have called socks we did, we, did the little, we did the little slippers with the pom-poms on, yeah. 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 Um, not very good yeah. for going outdoors in, though, are they, really? They look better on a fox. Yes, they do look better on a fox. They definitely oh. look better on a fox. It will be worth finishing it, though, Dominique. It will look lovely. Oh, it will be. It absolutely will be. It has just become my Everest a little bit, but I know it will be worth the effort but we are just going round and round. And it's if it does warm up, it, it is too warm yes. to have a wool jumper sat on yeah. your lap while you're knitting. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll find something else. Have you got any ideas of what you want to cast on? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Have you got but the wool for it? We can't even think about it no. yet. Cannot even think about it until that is finished. Oh, you can. No, I can't because otherwise I'm going to finish with like two hours of knitting left of that. No, I need to get that. I need to get to you the You are go very good. You are very good. I would cast something on, you see, to keep me company while I'm knitting that. And then I would do a bit of that, a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of this. I know, but, and that's what I've tried. But if I do that, that never, ever gets picked up. So all I need to do is to knit 50 grams into it then I can move on. Oh, I'm so, so sorry for yawning. Sorry. That is, when I get to the end, 
if we weren't at Boxing, it would be done this week. Yeah. So I'm not a million miles away from it. You can always do it on the evening of Buxton. I could do. We never ever really feel like knitting though, do we? No, you never know. We might do this year. I'll take it with, it will come with me. If I do any knitting, it will be that. But then next week, if I have got it cast, uh, if I've got that ball finished, I'll have a new cast on. <clears throat> that have is... you got the wool for your new cast on? Yes. Oh, looking when, forward to that. When I did the last lot of dyeing on Monday, I thought, I'm going to dye it, and then it's ready and waiting. I know what it is then. I know what you've got, but I'm not going to say what it is, but I think I know yeah. what you've dyed. Yeah. I think I know what you've dyed. Oh. It's just, I need motivation to get to the end, yeah. and then we can go. Yeah. Well, so, if you've got nothing else, and I've got nothing else. I don't think I have. So we're all ready. We just need to pick the trailer up in the morning and try and wedge all the work. I mean, it was quite funny because two of the knitting ladies today, one person's ne name rhymes with boo and the other person's name rhymes with barbecue. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're talking about coming to the um, bull show, but um, aren't driving. So we're looking at other possibilities. And I did offer them, you know, we could wedge them in with all the wool, couldn't we? in the back of the trailer. I know it's highly legal and I wouldn't do it, but I mean, it was an offer. And then the other offer was I could attach two chairs to the top. And you know, I like people go wing walking. Could yeah. just fasten the chairs on, give them a pair of goggles. They'd be fine, wouldn't they? They weren't enamored with that idea, Dominic. They weren't really up for it, but. So, Sue, do not let me put you off it because you knit in the last, Six weeks, you've knit two jumpers. You knit really quickly and beautifully. It's just, I, it's me. I've just, it's become an issue in my head, nothing to do with the pattern or the jumper. I think, Sue, you could have it cast on and cast off. In a week. Oh, uh, I was going to say in a month. Particularly if you're on holiday again. So really? don't put you off, Sue. Get it cast yeah. on. Um, and, yeah, so they didn't take me up on the offer of being wedged in the back of the trailer, surrounded by wool, or sat on the top of in plastic chairs. They didn't really go for that. I offered. I mean, what more could I do? Oh, excuse me. In fact, Sue, I'm not even going to allow you to buy any more wool until you've cast it on. If you put an order through, I'll just refund it and not send it. <gasps> until I've seen evidence that it's cast on. Not finished, just cast on. So we'll just buy, we'll just ignore Dominique and I'll just sort you out. Just ignore her. Just ignore no, her. you need motivation. Lucy, you're right. Sue would have it done in a fortnight. Ooh, she would have it done in a fortnight. Yeah. If I'll cast it on now. Definitely be worth it, yeah. But don't forget I've done it the wrong way around, so it is bottom up. Yes, it is bottom up. We both did ours the other way around. I did my um, non jumper from the top down. Yes. So when you read the pattern, it's me. I I reversed. The when pattern. you read the pattern, and think, how come Dominique looks like that? That's why. Because I reversed engineered the pattern. That's fighting talk. It is Lisa, isn't it? I mean, threatening yeah. our customers. It's threatening our customers that you can't have any wool unless you finish your project. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm putting my foot down. I'm not having it. If you want I'm wool, you can have make it. a difference. If you want to store your wool wherever you want. Story, do not take any notice of Dominique. She's been on a course. If this is what the course has done to you, go back and go back. And get out of it. I'm just giving you motivation. It's not motivation. It's not oh. Sue. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Just ignore Dominique. Her brain's been fried. It's not because Sue will really like it. I don't want to feel like I've put her off. She will really enjoy she will it. She like the jump. She will, but you know. You can knit other things in between it. You don't have to listen to Mrs. Dictatorial there, not allowing you to buy any. Look, if you come to the stall and Dominic says to you, have you got anything else cast on? Have you finished it? Well, you're not buying any more wool. I might hit him with something very heavy. Lisa, you can't just bypass it. I'll buy it for you. Exactly. You can't tell people they can't do that. I mean, for heaven's sake, I'd never be able to buy any wool ever. Well, no, I'm not saying, I'm just saying for that one thing. Look, I, I 
giving myself motivation. I can't cast it on till I've Caroline, finished. It is. It's the course has gone to a head. I'm slightly worried now for Buxton weekend. I'm slightly worried for you all that Dominique will be coming up and going, don't buy any wool if you've got a project. Don't buy anything. Go back. Go back. Get your, get your no, project you finished. Cast, you can cast anything you like on, but <laughs> just that one thing. Just uh -huh. get all you need to do. Oh, do you mean that was funny? Oh, dear. As a business model, it's not going to work, Dominique. But it is, because Sue's going to say, oh, my God, I can't believe you pushed me into doing that. And it's amazing. And my reward is buying the Arnia kit. She's changed. How quickly she changes, Caroline, in the space of a few days. How quickly she changes. I, the thing is, I'd have done that last week because that's what motivates me. Oh, that's funny. No one is stopping her. Oh, dear. No. Happy, oh, happy dear. dear. Right. Well, on that... cake go down? Pardon? Car I was saying, Caroline, how did the cake go down? Yes. Was it popular? Because just back from a um, birthday celebration, Caroline showed us a cake that someone had made for her grandson. It was a Minecraft cake. It was amazing. It was. It was fantastic. Yeah. So... Um, Oh dear. oh dear. Right. I think we just need to get I think we just need to draw a line on this and just end this episode. Um and if you want to come and see us in person, I mean heaven I mean in person, I mean it's even worse than this, you know. You get the full matchings when you see us in person. We will be at Buxton on I was gonna tell you where we are, but I can't really in gardens. We're in the Optican room and we're as far away from the entrance as you can find us, I think, on one of the ends. We're on, we need two pillars of the octagon. That's where we are. It's we're in the middle, room. we're in the middle of the octagon. Yeah. And we're here, and if you look to your left, as you stood on the stall, you'll be able to see Kath. And Marion. And Marion stood at the other. So it yeah. could be chaos. Yeah. Um, so, yes, come and see us. Come and say hello if you come in. If you're not... Um, all of the things, all of the new stuff will be on the website next week um, yep. for people to purchase because yep. I will allow you to buy yarn. Right. Okay. On that note, let's disappear. Well, I'm going to have some tea. We will see you all. Are we back next Friday? We are back next Friday. Yes, we are back next Friday. Right. Back to normal on Friday next week. See you all later. See you all later. Bye. Bye.